camaraderie, solidarity, and trail sufferings. <laughs> yeah, meeting meeting new people, new friends, um, the food. Yeah, Always look gorging. forward to the food. On the road again. These two gentlemen on the road. I can't wait to get back on the road again. <laughs> Welcome to the tour of Mont Blanc. This is day one. We're at Auberge du Truc, our first hut. You can see right here. What, what do we do today? We uh, started off pretty early in Chamonix and uh, nice alpine breakfast, got ready and uh, took a bus to La Houche. The town of La Hosago. Oosh. Oosh. Les Oosh. We crossed a suspension bridge, which was pretty damn scary. Nicholas was bouncing around on the suspension bridge. I have proof of that. <laughs> and we climbed up to 6,950 feet. It's called a pick me up. <laughs> My hands are so cold, I can't open it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs> and then back down like another 1,200. Yeah, and felt it. And we are ready for dinner, and we cannot wait for dinner to start, and we might have to have a cleansing ale before dinner. A glacier beer, they make glacier beer here. It's a Mont Blanc classic, and we're gonna have one, Never maybe two. Sustainability. And I am gonna sleep like I've been tonight, because I am knackered, absolutely knackered. No amount of training could prepare you for the incline and no. decline, you have to climb up and down, oh my God. And we've gotta do this, how many days? Nine, that nine more days. Nine more days. Yeah. It's a privilege, but it's, a lot of work. <laughs> we are going to suffer, the real men. Just un petit peu. We'll see you at the next hut. I don't know if you can hear the cowbells, but there's cowbells all around us. Mont Blanc is the highest mountain peak in the Alps, standing at a height of 15,777 feet and covered year round in a large blanket of snow. Hence its name, White Mountain or Mont Blanc. The Tour de Mont Blanc is a hiking route that circumnavigates that peak, covers a total of 100 miles or 170 kilometers. On this journey, you will cross through three countries, namely France, Italy and Switzerland. This is a well-trodden path that has been going strong for over 250 years. She is tough but beautiful, offering you some of the most picturesque alpine views you will ever see. Covering a distance of 100 miles or 170 kilometers over 10 days sounds like a stroll in the park, but the part that will humble you quickly is the elevation. That's because the cumulative elevation covered over a period of 10 days is approximately 32,000 feet higher than Mount Everest that stands at 29,032 feet. This was no ordinary hike. While you are sweating up yet another steep vertical zigzag covering around 3,200 feet climb, you will be lured and encouraged by a hot shower, a sumptuous warm dinner, and a warm duvet to crawl under in the bunk beds provided at every hut along the route. If you are exhausted enough, you will manage to drift off to sleep, ignoring the emerging cacophony of Olympic snorers. Mont Blanc is a beautiful mountain, but be warned, the weather up at 8,000 feet can turn on a dime. This mountain has her moods and she doesn't hold back. We were warned by some of the more experienced alpine hikers to pack for four seasons to bring warm jackets in the middle of the European summer. But not just any jacket. Remember to pack your Arcturix jacket that will guarantee you to keep you both warm and dry, even up at those high elevations. Best purchase we ever made. 
say Arteryx on me now one more time Arteryx on me now we don't run no Patagonia Arteryx on me I could go hiking in Snowdonia Questy got a pack and yeah stinking like ammonia You know I don't smoke my mic we're smoking California Arteryx on me now we don't run no Patagonia on me, no, we don't run no Patagonia. She gave me her number, but you know I'm never phoning up. I just saw some number and I might go and cop some stony stuff. They tell that God that day is holy, yeah. I, I, I'ma trust that day is holy. I need a PS5, I might go hit up Sony. I'll keep her company, she said she feeling lonely. She wrote with skinny boys, yeah, all my boys are bony. All right, morning campers. Here we are on the side of the Alps, just above uh, Kuromaya in Italy. And uh, we've just spent the night at uh, Refugio Maison... V How you say it? Maison Vieille. There you go. There's my translator in action. Uh, since you've seen us last, we spent two days in Kuromaya, which we're hiking back down to today. We went to a sky cable, uh, like little museum botanical garden village. It was beautiful. Uh, you can see Mont Blanc behind us. Beautiful. In all our glory. Yeah, beckoning us, come closer every single step. Dad has been put on uh, Book of Trucking's Instagram multiple times. So oh yeah, I'm in the I'm in the presence of an influencer here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, one of my videos apparently got over 500 views, and all it was are three cableways, three cable cars going past us. So. I need my schnapps now. <laughs> We're actually descending down from uh, the refugio into Kurumaya and uh, just to make sure that we're taking, uh, taking life easy, we catch in a bus up the next valley and we are going to Chateau de Ferret. Ferret. And uh, that's actually a little hotel, so we've got a room and a private bathroom and all the mod cons that you can possibly think of. Living in a little bit of luxury. Yeah, I mean, you know. Why? Why toughen it unnecessarily when you can have all available technology <laughs> to make your life absolutely bearable? And we met a couple, a couple cool people. We met an Aussie couple uh, from Perth. We met a Dutch couple. Uh, so Paul and Steph, and we're from Western Australia, mm -hmm. Perth specifically. I'm Lars. I'm uh, Manuela. Uh, we are from the Netherlands. Hello, I'm, I'm Bryce. I'm Eva. We're from Canada, Toronto. Yeah. Hi, um, my name's Luke. I'm from Australia. Why did we come? <laughs> mostly for vacation. Yeah, um, this is this is our idea of vacation. Yeah, and Some I grueling hikes. Yeah, cross out three countries. You know, it's a yeah. good good way to do it to travel. I definitely booked it. Yeah. <laughs> Paul had no idea what we was even for, but it was just to get away and get away from work and chill out. And it's, it's you know, everyone says it's a fantastic hike, which it was. It was absolutely amazing. So a friend of mine did the Tour de Mont Blanc a couple of years ago and I saw the photos on Instagram which looked incredible and I'd done a few hikes in Australia and New Zealand so I was very keen to tackle this one. Yeah, I always look gorging. forward to the food. Gorging yeah. on food. Yeah, I Food's hike awesome. to eat, that's what I do. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, what is it called? Cold de Ferret where we got engaged. Yeah. Are you guys going engaged on Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, my yeah. you guys thought we what? Yeah. <laughs> Tell me. <laughs> oh, thanks. In about two days' time, we enter Switzerland and we are going down into the valley to a beautiful little Swiss town called Champé, with an X on the end we never pronounce. We have this vision in mind of having an ultimate cheese fondue. The valley of Champé is world famous for its cheese, and so we're going to hunt down some poor, unsuspecting Swiss guy and get him to cook us a nice uh, cheese fondue. So we're ready to embrace the day, bright sunny day today. And, uh, you know, we might have to stop for a double espresso in the town of Kurmaia. The day that we've got to uh, the bar, yeah. 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 if I've been out that hard. My friend Jerome once showed me how great ice baths are. And I don't have one on this hike, but I am 5,800 feet in the air. 
and I have access to a glacier river. Thanks, Jerome. <laughs> I'm working too hard. Just pulled a rock out my toe. See that? Look at this little fella right here. That little guy. I got the rock out my toe. It's got a band-aid on now. <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Hey, we're back. We're currently on the Italian Swiss border. You can see the mountain behind us. We've just come from Chalet Val uh, It has amazing food. It had some slack lining. I took a bath in uh, glacier water. And you lived to tell the tale. You didn't freeze. And then we did a hike uh, that's three miles, uh, 2,000 feet elevation. And we're currently standing at 8,330 feet and the temperature we've gone through about two climate changes where yeah. we've gone from short pants to long pants and you can see right now we've pretty much covered up it's freezing up i'm here. in all green yeah and you'll see i'm uh, captain noir that's snow oh my goodness that's true that's not man-made <laughs> sitting at the uh, swiss italian border we now do a about a two mile descent down into switzerland and uh the name of our uh little uh, refuges uh, la pule and we that's where we came down for the night uh, yeah we've gone from france to italy and now into switzerland and soon a couple days we go back into france so we're one step closer to champé fondue yeah we and i'm yeah. very excited for that yeah the cheese fondue we are we're going to hunt down any Swiss, Swiss person that makes cheese fondue, they're going to become our new best friend. Yeah. But in the meantime, we're freezing to death up here and uh, when you uh, get down out of this wind and uh, we'll catch up soon. All right, folks, we've got our hardest hike today. Fenêtre d'Arpetre. Apparently, it takes you to the foot of a glacier, like 8,000 something feet in the air. 8,600 feet in the air. This one's a Anything you want to say, Dad? Just looking up that hill. Scares the living hell out of me. <laughs> Don't 
don't listen to any topographical map, yeah? They all lie. lie. <laughs> subscribe to this guy. <laughs> He's amazing. Let's go. <laughs> oh my god, merde. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know is merde. All right, we're still alive. <laughs> we made it. Um, we are right next to a big ass glacier um, at Fenêtre d'Arpette. Uh, last time you saw us, we were on the Italian Swiss border. Since then, we slept at a dairy farm. We swam in a lake and we ate a hell of a lot of fondue. That was a very quick synopsis. <laughs> I'm quite tired. <laughs> yeah, you can see we're suffering from a minor dose of hypoxia up here at uh, about 8,000 feet. Uh, yeah, we caught the bus down the valley, which is definitely a, a rest day. And then when we got up to uh, Champagne, we uh, decided we needed to have a swim. Nick took the first plunge. Uh, I took the second, and we each had the second round of swimming. It was, trust me, it was cold. about five years of our lives off. The locals it's, looked at us like we were crazy. And uh, had a hell of a fantastic cheese fondue and uh, ate every last scrap of cheese in the pot. But yeah. I have to say, if you're gonna have a cheese fondue, have it in the middle of Switzerland. Definitely a, a winner. It's fondue time. Merci. Anyway, after that we uh, hiked about two, just over two miles up to our uh, next uh, gîte or our next overnight hut. What was they called? Relais d'Arpette. There you go, very good. Relais d'Arpette. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm trying. And we're looking down to the one side, 8,600 feet. This is when I wish I had a, a paraglider or a parapon to fly all the way down because it's a dog. It was three, yeah, three miles up. It took us three, four, hour, four hours. Four hours. Yeah, yeah, it took us four hours up. Wow. Yeah, now we have five more down yeah. to get to our next refuge Mont Blanc. And uh, we'll be absolutely buggy by the time we get down because the descent is no much better than the ascent. <laughs> so yeah, a tough one. Today is definitely the toughest day. You say this is the toughest hike you've ever been on. It's the toughest ascent I've ever done in my life. And I've climbed now three 14ers in Colorado and this is nowhere close. Nowhere close. In terms of gradient, uh, the toughest gradient I've climbed. I've climbed zero 14ers. I've been on one 14 mile hike in my life. <laughs> so this is also the hardest descent I've ever done. <laughs> I'm gonna drink a very large Coca-Cola when I get down there. It's gonna consist of at least two cans yeah. and, a, and a block of ice. Anyway, that's from my side. That's all I got too. I don't have any more thoughts in my brain. <laughs> Just one foot in front of the other. <laughs> So many. 
Yeah. Wild blueberry, there we go. They're a little, wow. bit, a little bit kind of sour. Look at this uh, beautiful uh, wild blueberry. On the go at Mont Blanc. Yum, yum, yum. I feel like a, a grizzly bear. Mm -hmm. It's magnifique. We have officially got to the end of Tour de Mont Blanc and we are knackered, absolutely <laughs> knackered. We went to this very beautiful lake called Le Black Mont Blanc. Black Mont Blanc. Black Blanc, isn't it? Black Maybe, yeah, Black lake, Blanc. Blanc. Yeah. Um, very steep climb and uh, enjoyed a couple of beverages up at the top. I hate to say it, but it was wickedly steep. And then came down, we now at a place called uh, La Braz, which is a gondola, which means we have officially reached the end of our Tour de Mont Blanc. That's about it. We're ready to hit the cable way and get these legs in a really warm shower. Oh, here's, here's a good question. Three takeaways or pieces of advice or anything. Just three things that you want to say to somebody who thinks about going on Tour de Mont Blanc. Sure. Um, it's a dog. It's a dog. And the reason why the vertical is what kills you. It's not the distance, it's the vertical. Get on that stem master and work your ass off because otherwise you're going to be exhausted. Number two, pack for four seasons because in the 10 days that we were out there, there was rain, there was snow, and it was frickin' freezing. And okay. 7 degree weather. And then 20, 20 degree 27 degrees Celsius the next next couple of days. Yeah, and I think the other thing I would say is make sure whatever you um, have in the way of water, make sure you have a water filter of some sort. Some sort. What, what, are your, what are your three? The first one is embrace your inner mountain man. Grow out your facial hair. I didn't shave the entire time we were here. Two, one foot in front of the other. No matter how many times you check your phone, three miles left, five miles left, it, it doesn't matter. Just one foot in front of the other, just keep going. And three is eat as much fondue as you can. <laughs> Everywhere you go, order fondue. Every refuge you stay at, they have fondue, get it. That's it? That's it. I'm so tired. <laughs> It was a lekker trek, eh? Oh, Chana, let me train you, eh? Listen. Listen. It was quiet.